Deborah Lee is a Jewish conservative commentator, and she joins me now. How do you explain this college Hamas situation? Thank you so much for having me, Jesse. This is nothing short of mental illness. These professors on college campuses have one job, solely to train the minds of young students. And if their minds are so deluded and so twisted and deranged as to not only side with, but congratulate and support and justify the horrific atrocities the terrorist organization Hamas has, con has carried out against the Israeli population, they should be nowhere near the next generation. That is a mental illness. It is contagious. It has spread through the higher education education system in this country, and now it has reached the younger generation. These rallies are terrifying. The people showing up, they're not political protester, protesters. They are violent terrorists. If you rally in support of terrorism, you yourself are the terrorist. And while I'm all for the First Amendment, I am even bigger on the Second Amendment, which is why I urge Governor Kathy Hochul to expedite concealed carry permits for New York residents. We need a way to protect ourselves from these violent animals hunting us down, and they're not even hiding it. They, that's exactly what they want, to hunt us down. And we don't care if someone's supporting the Palestinian people. You can support the Jewish people, the Palestinian people. That's fine. We don't care. But if you're justifying war crimes and you're clapping while they're committing atrocities against innocent civilians, how does it go from a political support how does it go from that into, oh, yeah, they're slitting babies' throats. They're totally okay with that. How does that happen? It's so sick and it's so twisted and it's not a political issue. This has nothing to do with the long tortured history of the Israel-Palestine conflict. I've studied that for many years. It's very complicated. This is pure terrorism. Over 1,100 civilians were massacred. Jews, non-Jews, Israelis, non-Israelis. People were killed in cold blood and the Palestinians are bragging about it. I joined a few of the Hamas Palestinian telegrams. I don't think I'll ever be the same after what I've seen. And people are still touting these stories as Israeli misinformation. Yes, war propaganda is inevitable in wartime, but how much more evidence do we need than the literal terrorists themselves bragging about massacring, beheading, and burning babies? I, I don't know what else to show them to convince them that that is pure evil, and if you stand with that, you are evil. You must reject evil in all forms, because if we don't reject it now, we already see it's on American soil, it's on our college campuses. We cannot let this get worse. We must stop this in its tracks and close up our borders so that more people don't come in. This is a domestic and a foreign problem. You're right. It is. It's very rare when evil reveals itself so blatantly. And we're seeing that right now with Hamas. It's unbelievable that these college kids are siding with these ghouls. And you're right about this concealed carry. We could definitely use that here. Deborah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.